Welcome to our online video tutorial series brought to you by the Funeral Program site. This video will demonstrate how to create a transparent photo inside one of your program pages with a text overlay, or some also refer to this technique as creating a watermark photo. We will be using our majestic four-page graduated funeral program template that you see before you. The first thing you want to do is go to the page that you want to create your watermark in. In this case, we are going to be placing our watermark photo on page 3. So you're going to go down to the page numbers on the bottom left and click 3. In this page, we have a photo box and a text box that are currently pre-designed on this page. What we need to do is we are going to remove one of the text boxes by clicking on the perimeter and hitting delete on your keyboard. Then we'll take the remaining text box, click on the perimeter, and just move it and set it aside for now. Next, we're going to remove the insert a photo here if desired text box by clicking on its perimeter and hitting delete on your keyboard. Then we'll take the remaining photo box and enlarge it to the size that we want the watermark photo to be. So in this case I want the watermark to fill this entire page underneath the line at the top. So I'm just going to drag it and make my photo box the size of this page. Then I'm going to select it, go up to Format, Auto Shape, go to Fill Color in the Format Auto Shape pop-up, select Fill Effects, click on the Picture tab, select the Picture button, and locate my photo on my computer. Once you find your photo, hit Insert and hit OK out of the Fill Effects pop-up. In the Format Auto Shape pop-up, you'll see a transparency slider beneath the Fill Color. Simply move the slider to the right to the desired percentage of the photo. In this case, I'm going to go 75%. And you can see a little preview in this box right here. If that looks fine to you, then click OK. And your photo now is in a transparent state contained within the photo box. Next, we're just going to click on the text box we set aside earlier and simply move it on top of this transparent photo. And then we can size it to the size and shape that we want our text to be contained in. So what we need to do is select the photo and go to Arrange, Order, Send to Back, and we have now sent the transparent photo behind the existing text box on the page. Now we are free to edit the text box. You can copy and paste your information into this text box or type it directly. And that's all there is to creating a watermark or transparent photo behind some text overlay. View more video tutorials here at the Funeral Program site.